Hello everyone, so today I'll be making my own spiritual oil of protection. Now I have a lot of things in front of me here and I'll kind of describe what I'm doing as we go along. So one of the herbs that I'm going to add to this mason's jar is bay leaf. Um, I got these herbs from Lisa's Creations, which you can find on Amazon, and you can get a bag of about 40 herbs for around 20 bucks, I believe. Um, this is described as being healing pro uh, for protection, for, for visions, uh, for power powers, repels, negative energy. Um, the label's kind of skewed because I kind of had to open the packages. Red, clover, organic, uh, love, protection, money, fidelity, success, exorcism, uh, mugworts. Uh, I actually have a very strong connection to mugworts. Every time I burn it, it feels a lot like white sage for me, and it puts me at another level of uh, spiritual vibration, I guess you could say. It really allows my, my consciousness to be raised a little bit. So mugwort is described as um, for strength, psychic powers, and prophetic dreams. And uh, this is one of the, this is one that I just had to add into this because I'll be actually painting a rune with um, Does Blood Inca algae that will kind of also bless this jar that I'm going to be making this oil in. So Angelica Root is very much identified with algae and it's something that I basically knew I had to include. I felt that I had to before I even knew that it was connected to algae. Um, and sage, of course. I burned a lot of white, white sage, organic white sage, and I have a very strong connection to sage as well. Um, I have some Viking ancestry and some Native American ancestry, so the mugwort hits one ping for me, and then sage actually hits another, um, if that makes any sense. And uh, frankincense, I burn a lot of frankincense incense. Um, I don't do with the resin a lot, but I think that the resin will actually be much better for uh, making this oil. So what we're gonna do first is grab this jar, and liberally sprinkle one ingredient, one ingredient at a time into this, and this bag kind of tore open, so I'm just gonna, and I got a lot of mugwort anyway, so I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle a good amount. I'm not gonna be filling up this whole jar with oil, by the way, it's just gonna be kind of on the bottom. Uh, so that's kind of how I'm going to do this. Okay, I think that's enough, uh, maybe a little bit more, a little bit more mugwort. It's really up to, uh, I'm just kind of doing this by, by feel. I don't really know, I'm not really measuring like exactly how much herbs. How many, how much herbs from each package I'm putting into this, but uh, just doing it kind of by feel. So next, let's put that mugwort aside so we can get it out of the way. Next, I will be adding red clover, you know, and it says organic, which is, uh, I always try to buy organic when it comes to herbs. Good amount of that. Close that up, put that aside. Now we're gonna add a, a very vital ingredient, the angelica root, to the mixture. It feels like enough to me, perhaps more than enough. Put that aside, sage. It's not exactly white sage, it's more like cooking sage, but it still has a very similar effect. Very similar consistency to mugwort, like I said. Well, very similar spiritually, but also its consistency as an herb is very similar to mugwort. Okay, make sure I can close this bag nice and good. There we go. Now we're moving on to frankincense resin. And frankincense is for protection, exorcism, spirituality. Um, these are very vague <laughs> uh, descriptions of these things, but I mean, they kind of help. And just for good measure, you know, Angelica Root is for exorcism, healing, protection, visions, and uh, mugwort, strength, psychic powers, prophetic dreams. Definitely strong uh, prophetic dream uh, connection. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add this uh, frankincense resin. I wanna add the whole package, but I wanna get a good amount. And I feel like I got enough in there. Now, here's what I'm gonna be adding next. This is a leaf from my 
what I call my office. Uh, I go to this grave, my favorite graveyard. I go to it so often that I actually consider it like my office where I just spend a lot of time. That's, you know, it's not, it's not school, it's not home. It's kind of like my office. It's not, it's not my main place of work, but I consider it my office. Now, I didn't want to add dirt from the graveyard because I don't, I don't think that should be a part of an oil, but I feel like this leaf um, can serve the same exact function. And I might, I'm probably not going to put the whole leaf in there. I just want to make sure it's pretty consistent. Let's add some bay leaf as the last herb. Kind of missed it there. Oh, no. I already added some of this, but let's add a little bit more. The bay leaf is a strong component of this. All right. Now that we got all the herbs out of the way, let's um, let's add some other ingredients that'll make this oil a little bit more interesting. If I can actually open this uh, quart container of obsidian, well, snowflake obsidian, which is very much protect, very much for protection, I'm going to be adding some uh, stones into this now. Uh, well, semi precious mineral. Uh, but um, a lot of people don't add um, any kinds of minerals into their protective oil concoction. But um, I feel like I'm just kind of supposed to add this obsidian because I have such a good reaction to obsidian. And this snowflake obsidian is just the right size. Add to the protective elements of this oil. That's enough of that. Put this part of a leaf aside. Um, next, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, rose petals. Um, I'd like to add that to all kinds of mixtures of things. Just adds a little bit more, not just like good smell, but it adds a little bit of oomph to whatever you're trying to compose. For some reason, it just kind of clarifies the energy. Rose petals and rose in general. Okay, now we got that mixed up. Now, before I add anything else, I'm going to put the lid back on and kind of shake it up. Make sure everything's kind of like as mixed as it can get. Okay, now that it's all mixed up, let's go ahead and add Another thing that I've worked with a lot, which is Florida water. Now, the Florida water that you can buy online, um, it's <laughs> the strange to see like this this little dust smoke coming out of this jar. Um, this Florida water that you buy online, that's by uh, it's by Mur uh, Murray and uh, Landman or yeah Landman, um, Florida Water, Cologne, New York. This is not the you know, you can buy pure Florida water and more potent Florida water from spiritual practitioners, but this is is uh, is still very effective um, because of its ingredients. I'm not going to go through them, but it actually, even though it's kind of watered down than like the spiritual Florida water you can buy from practitioners who make and sell the stuff, um, it's still a really great blessing to add to really anything, even if you're trying to repel negativity from your, you know, in your workspace or in your house. So I'm going to go ahead and add... Good amount of that, but not so much that it's going to overpower everything. That's that's the fear. So let's put aside everything we're not using right now. Okay, next we are going to add what will kind of allow everything to mix into a uh, an appliable form to when I anoint myself. It is the uh, organic olive oil. The kind that I bought is by Simple Truth Organic, extra virgin, olive oil is filtered. Um, the fact that it's organic really helps it with its, uh, its vibrational potential, if that makes any sense. And uh, I'm going to add a liberal amount of this <laughs> organic olive oil because it's going to be the carrier. 
for the oil. Very liberal amount. Now that is going to be a good amount of spiritual oil right there. That is going to be... Now, I, I kind of want to add enough to where it, most of the things could get submerged and soak up that energy. And uh, I'm going to let it sit before I even try to apply it. I'm going to let it sit and mix for a long time. But what I'd like to add to the outside is, like I said earlier, the rune algae's. So I'll be adding that by painting it with a small paintbrush from my Does Blood ink, which is uh, extremely, uh, has a lot of blessing potential, let's put it that way. If you want to look up Does Blood ink, please, please do to find its exact properties. So I'm not going to go over them here. Very fine brush strokes, very small brush. Make it nice and noticeable. Algis, 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 algis. Let it dry for a second. I'm going to be applying this rune that's written in Does Blood Ink once again. I'm going to be applying it to this uh, jar by just basically taping it with scotch tape. Um, nothing fancy. I would also recommend if you wanted to use some kind of yarn to fasten it to a jar, if you want to kind of be less. <laughs> less involved with um, modern methods of adhesive and all that. Um, but I will be using a modern thing, this, this tape, <laughs> obviously. If I can figure out how I can position this, everything together. Nothing fancy, as you can see. I'm just going to apply two pieces of tape here. So that it's securely fastened to the jar. Feel positive about that. Now, I might not record me actually, you know, harvesting some of this oil after you know, a, a day of it sitting there and kind of coalescing. But, um, one second. Let's make this a little bit more secure here. There we go. Three pieces of tape, three times a charm. All right, so what I'm going to do after it sits for a day just so you can kind of know what's going on. This will be sitting for a day or perhaps more, depending on if I feel like it's really ready uh, to be carried and applied or annoyed myself with, just even if I'm in this room. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, I have this little tiny vial bottle thing. It's a little round vial and I'll use a dropper that I seem to not have right now. I will be using a dropper to take the oil out of the jar and then dropping um, just, you know, as much as it takes to fill this using a dropper. And I'll be carrying this with me and I'll carry it just for extra protection so that it doesn't break and kind of contains the energy at the same time. I'll be carrying it in this white bag and uh, tie that tight. And then I will be tying this little uh, pentagram little symbol of human uh, <laughs> of human uh, advancement and rising towards the source. I'll be tying this onto this string 
And so it will kind of fasten these strings so that it can remain a pouch and I'll be carrying that vial in this bag. Um, overall, that's basically it. Um, it's not exactly, it doesn't look real pretty right now, uh, but that's not really the goal. It's The goal is to make a protective oil and I think that this will really work out well. So hey, everybody, I really thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, Feel free to shoot them down in the comment section below on YouTube. I'd be more than happy to take a look at them. If you need recommendations or you think I'm doing this completely wrong, just let me know. I always try to respond to as many comments as I can. At any rate, um, if you like this video, feel free to become a patron on Patreon at www.patreon.com slash darkrealist, capital D, capital R. For just a dollar a month, you get extra content and you help support this, this kind of work. Um, so that I can keep on making videos for you. At any rate, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see all of you on the channel in the future.